In 23.2, Tableau have added another boatload of spatial enhancements. I'm only going to cover one of them. That one is going to be outline. The outline feature, I think, is a super powerful one. Let's get stuck into it and find out more. So I want to start here on the page where it outlines a whole group of geospatial features. Um, outline is what we're going to cover in this video, but it's important to note there's actually a couple of others and they're very easy to miss. So shape type enables new pivots based on geometry types. So essentially you can treat uh, roads and regions in a different way because those would be different um, geometry types. So lines versus polygons. And then length allows you to calculate uh, routes and journeys. So if you've got a path and you want to figure out how long that line is, um, you can do the length calculation. It will give you a return sort of response. So you can actually start to do some analytical work on maybe GPS traces and a bunch of other things that are going to be super useful. But let's get stuck into the outline feature. Um, if we go over to Tableau Public, uh, I'm just going to start on a new viz. Go ahead to create a web altering session. We'll go over and upload a shape file. Now, a, space file, a shape file is just essentially a zip file with a bunch of files inside of it. You can actually see a good example of those right here below. You can see I've downloaded some London borough information. I'll go ahead and open that. And um, what Tableau will do is it'll actually upload the zip. It will decompress it and do whatever it does. And you'll see that it recognizes it's a shape file. And um, shape files come with a geometry column. The geometry column essentially gives you the information about either a path, which is a line, uh, which could represent a road, a river, or a walkway, whatever you want it to represent. Uh, points, which are X and Y coordinates, essentially uh, a specific point and a specific location. And then the last one is uh, polygons. Polygons are just shapes. So you can just imagine that as the boundary of a region or the boundary of a country. And so once we've connected to our data, we'll go ahead, go into sheet one, and uh, we'll let this load. Now, this does take a bit of time. It's got to create an extract. It's got to do whatever it does. I don't know if it's me, but Tableau Public has been slower than Tableau Cloud. Maybe that's intentional. Um, but here we are. It's loaded. And you can immediately see that there's a geometry column right there. Now, what we're going to do is with this geometry column, we're actually going to just visualize it straight away so you can see what it is. And I'm just going to double click geometry. You'll see that I get every single ward in London. Now, when I hover over one of them, you'll see that all of them highlight. We don't want that. The reason is because we haven't told Tableau what level of detail we'd like. So we'll go ahead and put name on detail. And now, once that's loaded, when we hover over one of them, we actually get the corresponding name. Really simple, really, really good. Now, the nice feature here is if we right click on geometry, go to create, create a calculated field. Let's just make sure this is large so we can see how this looks. Um, it's not going to let me zoom in. That's fine. Uh, we'll try and avoid uh, breaking the demo. <laughs> so we'll go over here. I'll open my little triangle carrot here, whatever you call this. Um, go ahead and type outline. And you'll see this new function and it tells you here it returns polygons converted into line strings so that they can be styled individually. So big note here only works on polygons. OK, it's not going to work on lines. Uh, lines are already lines and it's going to return a line uh, in, in, in response to that polygon. So we'll take our polygon, it will draw an outline and give us just the line. And that's super useful. So let's go ahead and highlight this and then double click the function. Tableau automatically wraps it when we do that. And we'll call this outline of wards because that's actually what this geometry represents. Hit apply. And once we've done that, everything is there. And you'll notice that we have a new spatial object right here, outline of wards. So we can go ahead, uh, reset the whole viz. Let's just clear the whole sheet right here at the top. Start again. Now we're going to start with our outline of wards. We're going to double click it. And what we should see are just the lines. Perfect. So this is the feature working in a nutshell. We'll go ahead and bring in the names. And the nice thing here is that, look, when I hover over the line, the item activates. But look at this. We don't have uh, it activating when you hover over in between. So this is uh, super cool. Now, if you're switched on, you'll know that this is super powerful because this is just a function. And because it's a function, it works just like any other calculation which also means you can build logic on top of the function. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to spend hours going into it here in the video. Instead, I'm going to point you to Mark Reed's uh, blog. I'll put the link to this in the description. It's super good. He actually shows you how you can apply the uh, spatial function and then take it to the next level by having it do things like outline on specific logic or, uh, you know, outline when you do a selection. I think this is a really nice gift here where he shows um, he shows you actually being able to select specific items and it actually outlines the area. 
And because you can map this with shape layers, you can still have your original shape, your original polygon as a visual element. And what you can have this do is activate the outline to show you the specific selected um, areas or regions. So there's a lot of nice logic. There's a lot of um, sort of good conditional logic. And Mark walks right through here just showing you how to work. Mark's blog is also fantastic. So be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, I think this feature is super powerful. I think there's so much more you can do. Um, if you want to follow along with my exact data set, you can go ahead to uh, this uh, Mayor of London website, Statistical GIS Boundary Files for London. I'll put this in the description so you can download those too. And if you're looking for the full release notes of this particular release, go ahead and just go ahead and check out the Tableau Cloud release notes. Um, it's a little bit hit and miss uh, in some areas, so they do update it over time. But in here, we should see, where is it? You see, we'll see the image role enhancements. I've just been talking about that, but I don't, I don't think it actually has the most up-to-date detail. This is so annoying. Oh, my word. If we go to the release notes, I bet you... This has 23.2, yes, and this is for desktop, yes. And you can see here, what do we have? Where was the spatial announcements? New spatial functions and maps. Um, it's so weird. And then when you click on that link, come on, does it take us anywhere? No, it doesn't take us anywhere. There's no learn more link. <laughs> so documentation has become a bit of a pain point for me in the last few releases of Tableau. It should be for you as well if you kind of use this stuff to get work done. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, um, uh, there should normally be a page with all the spatial functions. I'm actually going to go on a side quest here. Let's go ahead and search Tableau um, spatial functions and see if the if this page here, this is what I'm looking for. And if we search outline... Uh, why, why can't I why can't I search outline? Here we go. Outline. There you go. So there you go. They have been added here. So you can see the three functions that have been added to this documentation. So the documentation is being updated. It's just not being pointed to, which is annoying. Um, so here you are. You can uh, go ahead and see how all the different logic works and uh, pair it uh, amongst other functions as well here at the top. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to show you that feature really, really quickly so you can figure out how to use it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.